everyone, and welcome back to another cozy long play. Today we're going to build an enchanting house so we can further upgrade our gear. We have a lot of adventuring and building to do today, so let's get started. So in the last episode, we built this small cattle farm at the edge of the island, and I still think this was a really good addition to the island. I already started harvesting some of the wheat to feed to the cows, and I also started gathering up some leather. I only have four, but that also gave us a decent amount of food. So I figured this is what we could kind of survive off of because although the fishing hut is super cute, fishing, fishing takes a long time, especially when you don't have enchanted gear and I don't have any of that. But that's about to change today because I want to build a cute little enchanting house so we can kind of start upgrading some of our gear. Now, I know this is a mini series, but I feel like enchanting is just one of those fundamental steps in Minecraft. And it's super important and enchanted tools would honestly help us even so much just with building not to mention having some better tools for combat would be a bonus as well so i think even though we're here for a short amount of time we'll still benefit from it i mean look at this i only have like some puffer fish an enchanted book so i think from now on it'd probably be better to rely on steak especially because we're going to be collecting so much leather today so yeah the food from the fishing hut might have been a little bit short-lived but honestly it helped us out for a couple episodes so it's all good now the other thing that we need is going to be lots and lots of sugar cane and in the last episode i actually started planting a bunch and i think from what i remember yeah i started gathering quite a bit as well so I think we're off to a pretty good start in terms of the stuff that we need for the bookshelves. Now, for this enchanting setup, we're going to need a diamond pick so we can gather up some obsidian in order to make the table. And what else do we need? Oh, wait, yes, we need a diamond. We need a diamond to actually make the table as well. I'm pretty sure that's all we're going to need alongside some bookshelves. I always forget how to craft enchanting tables because it's not really often that you make them. So we're definitely going to have to go on a little bit of an exploration mission today because I have not come across... Actually, I think I do have one diamond. I do have one diamond, but that's not enough. So I figured what we could do today is start off by kind of just doing a little bit of base maintenance here, feeding up the cows, breeding them some more. And then I say we just head off on an adventure and see what happens. Also, the bonus about feeding all the cows is I'm kind of leveling up through this and we're getting close to level 30. And that would be very nice if we could get like a nice diamond pick of some sort. All right, the sun's setting. So let me go off to bed. Oh, wait, I forgot I put a bed up here. That was my goal in the last episode was to start putting like bedrooms and stuff in every room. So we never not have a place to sleep. You know, except this one's just like kind of loud. It's really loud. That is probably one of the worst sleeps of my life. And honestly, quite frankly, living above this, it, it just doesn't smell great either. I've got to be honest. I've got to be honest. All right, if we're going to go on an adventure today, I mean, I need a little bit of food because we're going into the caves again. So we're going to do that. Uh, what else do I need? I need tools. I think we're okay with that. However, we probably could use another like iron pick or something. So let's craft one more of those just in case. Because I also figured that while we're out, we should probably collect some resources for the build today as well. Now I need some wood. Oh, sticks right here. Perfect. All right, let's get ourselves another pickaxe. And let's do like another axe as well, just in case. Oh, wait, we have one right there, a fresh one. Oh, no, that's okay. We'll be chopping down lots of trees today, probably. So also our sword isn't great. So let's make a new one. We have quite a bit of iron, so we can we can treat ourselves, you know, we can treat ourselves. What else is it here for, if not for lanterns and new tools? I'm going to put away these stone uh, tools because we don't really need them. And other than that, item frame, that can go somewhere else too, huh? Don't think we're going to need that on an adventure. Uh, I think we're pretty much good. I pretty much just need... 
eh, I think I could survive off of this. We've survived off of worse here. I think that's pretty much it, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to drop off the wheat really quickly, and I think we should probably just head out. All right. Let's go over here and toss it in here. Perfect. Actually, before we go out, we should probably kind of just go over what we're going to build today. So let me just free cam really quickly to go over the layout of the island. So we, of course, have our fishing dock and lighthouse over on this corner of the island. We have the cow pen over here, which is perfect. We have a little forested area right here which I kind of had my eye on for this enchanted area. Now, I know the build is probably gonna have to be a little bit bigger because we're gonna have to actually fit an enchanting table in it. So it's inevitably gonna be a little bit bigger of a footprint. However, I feel like we could fit an enchanting table in like a seven by nine space. I'm gonna have to like actually map it out once we get the enchanting table, but we're definitely gonna need a little bit more space to accommodate this thing. I think this should be enough space. And also we can have like a cute little path that runs through. I would ideally love to have the uh, enchanting table kind of like enclosed by trees. So it looks a little like magical and forest like. However, we're probably gonna have to get rid of these and then just replant them after, which is no problem. Kind of want it to be its own separate vibe away from the cattle farm while still being able to exist like next to it. So I'm kind of picturing that for um, where we're going to be building. This spot, I would love to save for like a bigger house or something like that. Maybe like another tower. Um, we've been doing a lot of smaller houses recently. And today is probably just going to end up being a house of some sorts. I don't think it'll be as small as these guys. These ones are like very, very tiny. But I'm thinking like we've got a lot of good height right here. It'd be really nice to incorporate some more height onto this island eventually. So that's kind of what I had in mind as well. But other than that, I think we're pretty much good to go. Actually, before we do that, hold on a second. I need a bed. Let's just grab that really quickly. And I think we're good. All right, Roger. Let's go see Roger first. Before I forget, we haven't greeted our guy yet, you know? Gotta go say hi to the homie. Plus, I think my boat's here, yeah. Roger, dude, why are you like, are you trying to swim away? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You stay here. You you gotta guard the coastline, buddy. You gotta guard the coastline for us. All right, we're gonna go on an adventure. Uh, Roger, you take care, buddy, and we'll see you later. Bye. All right, so I think I'm gonna head over to the cave over here because last time we were there, I saw a, uh, a geode. And I kind of wanted to tap into that because one, calcite could be a great building material. And two, a little bit of amethyst might be nice for the build. You know, you got like the magic vibes of enchanting. So I think I'm gonna collect some of that. And then from here, I think, uh, hold on a second, let me jump. That's always scary. But um, I think basically what we're going to do is try to maybe scrub through the cave down here. Maybe I might strip mine a little bit. I was originally going to start a strip mine on the island, and we still could theoretically. I just don't know if we really need one, though, depending on how much we get today. So the geode was somewhere over here, I think. Yeah, right here. Perfect. Um... One thing I do need, though, is a little bit of coal for some, like, more torches and stuff. But if that's the case, I'm also actually going to need some more wood. I kind of forgot. I thought I had everything, but I definitely don't. It's always that way, isn't it? All right, let's collect some of this really quickly for some torches. And I'm going to go back up and chop a tree. Well, let's just go up through the waterfall. May as well.
All right, perfect. So let's grab some of this. Honestly, just a little bit should be fine because all of these planks will probably turn into quite a few sticks. Maybe just a couple more to be safe, I guess. It's always nice to have a little bit of uh, wood just in case. And I have to go up a little bit. And one more. Why not? Hello. All right, that should be good. So let's head on over into the cave again. It's always something, isn't it? Always forgetting something. Whee! And let's head on down again. Whee! And I think we're good to go. So we've got a couple torches, which is nice because when we dig down, we're definitely going to need those. As for this geode, though, let's just kind of crack into it, I guess. I love geodes. It's always so exciting when you find them, too. I always got to run around them because of the noise they make. It's just so pretty. Whoa, this one's like kind of open into like a pit of lava. Huh? I like that. Just a little bit of music for y'all. I feel like I'm playing on one of those giant pianos in like a department store. I've never actually played on one of those before, but I saw them a lot in movies. I always wanted to, though. Anytime I would see that in a movie in like the 90s, early 2000s, I was like, oh my gosh, that is a dream. One day I will play on a giant piano with my feet can't say i have cannot say i fulfilled that dream but hey what are dreams for other than to fulfill them maybe one day i will have my chance maybe one day kind of just like weaving through to collect this calcite We got a stack in a bit. Let's go with just a bit more. Just in case. And same with the amethyst shards, too, actually. We should probably grab quite a few of those. Or not the shards, sorry, just the blocks. We can't really do anything with these shards. Oh, that one wasn't fully grown. My bad. Uh, this one. Actually, you know what? These would look really nice in a frame. It's kind of like a shame that we can't take the clusters because we don't have silk touch. But there's still a nice decoration piece. I'm gonna grab a couple of these as well. Maybe just a little bit more here. Then we should be good to go. Oop! Well, that went straight into the pit of fire. All right, we got 64 and 63. Okay, we've got to grab one more. There we go. Two even stacks. <gasps> oh, no. Don't do this to me. Okay, I'm walking past that. I'm going to ignore it because I have two perfect stacks. I don't. I don't want to mess with that, you know? Oh, no, there's some down here, too. Oh. Oh, boy. I, f I also feel bad letting it despawn, but what am I to do? I have perfect stacks of it. All right, we need to find a way down. How did I get down here last time? I must have, like, weaved through somewhere else. 
Maybe I should just pillar up again. I should have filled my bucket with water, but I did not. Of course I forgot. Okay, I'm gonna go down this way. Oh, boy. Get over it. Nice. Nice. Okay. Let's just torch this up so nothing spawns here and ruins our life. And I think we should just head further down because I really want to get to diamond level. Now, ideally, what we could do actually is maybe go through the caves for some diamonds. The only thing is this area doesn't look very like... It doesn't look like it goes down far enough, you know? Alrighty now. So, let me get back up to, I think, over here. I'm not lost. No way. There's no way I'm lost. Okay, I'm a little bit lost. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the entrance. I just want to see if this cave kind of falls off over around like this way. There's my little station from before. And no, I'm almost wondering if it would be worthwhile to go back into that lush cave. I got some comments saying I walked past a diamond in the very first episode of this series. And I'm like, no. So I'm sorry you all had to watch me walk past that probably like five times without even realizing. You know what? We're already here. So maybe it's just best to dig down and reach bedrock. Don't want to overcomplicate things too much. That is probably the more logical thing to do. Ow. Look at me using logic. So I've already got this space carved out. I feel like we should just keep digging down, you know? And then eventually we're bound to hit something. Oh, immediately I hit something. Okay, this is kind of helpful. I don't know. I don't see any diamonds here. Let's see. Over here? No. What about over here? Nope. Just little zombie toes and some lapis. Maybe what I should do is just keep digging down. And see if we can just hit bedrock. Because it looks like this cave, like this is pretty narrow. So probably just be better to keep going. And then if we hit like a substantial cave, we're good to go. If not, we'll just strip mine. And anything here? Doesn't really look like it. Oh, another geode. Nice, nice. And down this way, I don't see anything. Not even mobs. Look at that. Ow! 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 Ouch! That's hot! Ouchie! Oh no! Ow! I'm really on fire! Who would have thought that lava burns? Honestly. How could it do that to me? Alright, where did I come from though? Huh? Oh, there. I see. Perfect. 
Alrighty, let's keep going. rock okay perfect so i think from here sometimes i usually do like one layer above because the bedrock can kind of go like whoa whoa and then you're like digging into like bedrock on like the level you're on so i think doing this should be fine now let's just dig out like a little bit of a space for us yeah like if i had left this i would have been like bumping into the bedrock while we were digging and it wouldn't be fun Did I bring any iron with me? Oh my gosh, I didn't. <laughs> I'm using way more of my pickaxes than I realized. There is iron above us though, thankfully, which is also good because we do need some more torches and stuff. But boy, I've used, I've drained these pickaxes. I'll tell you what. Yeah, there we go. All right, well, we have our little space dugout. I think maybe what we should do is we should go back up quickly for some supplies. Uh, if we're doing some strip mining, which I think we're probably going to do that. Um, these caves don't really lead anywhere. I don't see any like parts that would lead to bigger openings or anything. So let's head back up and get some of that stuff that we need. All right, I think I'm going to have to make a crafting table real quick. We do have that little station back over there, but I see some of the supplies we need now, so might as well just do that. Oh, no, I don't have any cobble. Oh, wait, I completely forgot. We could just make a really dusty old wooden pickaxe. Grab a couple right here. Make this. And we're good to go. All right, let's just toss this. We don't need it. Bye-bye. And from there, we'll grab some more iron. Seems to be a lot of iron over here, actually. I feel like this is a little bit of an undiscovered spot. Nope. Apparently I've been here. I think I just kind of gave up on gathering all the iron because there's actually so much. That is perfect though, because while we're gathering some more, we can put all of this in a furnace and get ourselves a nice iron pick again. Well, let's just toss that in there. And I guess from here, we'll just go explore and gather up all the stuff. This should get us quite a few picks, actually. There's more than enough iron in these caves. And I think in the long run, it's better if we just collect all this stuff here rather than having to go home. Just because it'll save us some time in the end. I do need that coal up there, though. I'm going to have to pillar up for that. But first, I will start collecting all this iron. I think these are probably done now. Let's take a look. There we go, perfect. And since this iron is all ready to go, let's just make this pick so it's a little bit easier for us. There we go, now we're rocking. Perfect. All right, so I need to get up to that coal as well because we're gonna need quite a bit. Might as well grab this iron too. And just keep collecting all the resources we need.
So I've gotten about 17 coal, a bunch of iron. The iron, I think we're good. We can make so many pickaxes with that. And honestly, our supply at home is fine. So we don't need to worry about bringing stuff back. I think I would just like maybe a little bit more coal, just in case. Now, let me just kind of get rid of some of this stuff so I can put all of this in my inventory. There we go. We're going to need more coal for torches and possibly furnace fuel. So I think it would be wise to gather just a little bit more. Now, where's this lead to? Nowhere. Okay. <laughs> Well, that helps. Uh, coal, coal, coal. Let's see. There's got to be some more around here. So much iron. Maybe there's some kind of like further up, possibly. Oh, there's also some right here, so that's perfect. Can pillar back up. It looks like I already did that. So might as well just do it again. Uh oh. I forgot. That's why that's why I stopped collecting it. Because <laughs> of the gravel. Okay, let's go over here. We'll find some more. Some up there. There's also a creeper, but hey, I'm not afraid. We can just literally let him just do his thing. Come on. Oh, spinning around a little bit, doing a little dance. That was actually pretty fly, dude. Sorry. Whoa, okay, we got more cave over here. This is basically just turning into a giant cave exploration episode. And you know what? I'm not even mad about it. Not even mad about it. Homie, you gotta calm down. Whatever's going on. Just gotta chill. Oh, there's a lot over there. Whatever's going on there. Problem is, I'm I'm like exploring and also kind of wasting torches because I'm kind of lighting my way. But at the same time, I mean, I could always pick some up on the way back if we need to. But the all these mobs, all of these mobs, get out of here. There we go. There we go. Oh, level 30 now. Look at that. Perfect. Oh. Oh, that was close. Okay. I was, I was like, just let it happen. Honestly, at that point, just let it happen. Creepers be creeping, you know? Ooh, lots of coal over here. Perfect. Okay. I'm at least going to leave this a little bit lit up while we're kind of like in this area because I don't want any more mobs to spawn. Then maybe I'll consider just like taking the torches with us, but I think this might help us out a little bit. These, it looks like we have like quite a few veins around here. Okay, we're gonna have to get over here. Just gonna have to pillar all the way up. And where am I? I always do that. I pillar up and then I'm like, I cannot even see what I was looking for. Oh, there it is. Perfect. I'm just gonna stay crouched while I do this. There we go. Perfect. 
All right, uh, how much do we have? We have 47. I mean, it's really not that much, but I think we should make do with what we have. So my idea is kind of maybe just to use like uh, wood as fuel for the furnace. And then with all of the other stuff, um, I, I'd rather use it for torches, you know? Would much rather use the coal for torches. Get out of here. Just want to go down here quickly, see what's up. This cave is very, like, twisty and turny. It, it almost feels reminiscent of, like, one of the more traditional Minecraft caves. Like the, um, like the pre-118 caves. All right, I think we should be good. I say we just head back and we'll figure that out. All right, down we go. Ow, ow, ow. Really should have dug this out a little bit better, but that's okay. Hopefully we don't really need to strip mine much throughout this series. It's nice that we have this set up, but I don't really anticipate us going down here too much. I'd like to ideally just get it all done today. So, now that we have this spot carved out, what we can do is we can throw down our furnace and craft a bunch of torches. Make maybe a couple of chests. Oh, make maybe one chest. Also want to dig this out a little bit more. The ceiling's a little bit too low for my liking. I'm not going to stress too much about what this strip mine looks like. Usually I end up like decorating them and stuff, but this one seems very, very temporary, especially since it's not at our base. So leaving it a little bit messy should be fine. I'm not going to sweat too much over it. All right. I probably could have grabbed more spruce. Let's be real. But that's okay. So I'm going to toss down the chest here. Let's just toss in like all of the deep slate. Just all of this stuff for now. All right. I think we're good to go. Okay. This setup's probably good for now. I think we should honestly just start digging out a spot for us to strip mine. That would probably be the best bet. So I'm just going to clear a couple more layers here so I can make a few like corridors, basically. That's usually how I do it. I just tear into a wall and just make a whole entire row of corridors. And then I just just start strip mining. Of course, this stuff is kind of like mindless. I enjoy doing it. Don't get me wrong. I really enjoy doing it. But um, in terms of the video, some of this will probably be cut until I find like diamonds or maybe some other like interesting resources or if I find a new part of the cave just because it takes a lot longer than you realize sometimes, you know? I feel like sometimes I get so lost with just like getting in the groove of strip mining that I don't even realize that like 40 minutes has passed. So for the sake of the video, I'll definitely uh, cut out some of the more quiet moments where I'm just like vibing. I love strip mining though. Like usually I throw on a podcast, maybe listen to some music or catch up on some videos that I haven't uh, been able to. It's just a fun time. Alrighty, all of these corridors are ready, set to go. So all I really need to do is just start tearing into these. So I'm going to get started on that and just hang out and hopefully we'll find a good amount of diamonds. Oh, <gasps> no way. Okay, that was not very long at all. I'm wondering, is diamond distribution a little bit different now? I'm playing in 120.1 and I, I swear, 119, like it was almost impossible to find diamonds. I, even in my long-term stream world, I have uh, sections that are just like underneath my main base where you will not find diamonds. I have completely just like torn apart everything to gather deep slate. I've come across like maybe one cluster. Look, this is the first First hallway of our strip mine, and I've already found a huge cluster. Now, unfortunately, we don't have fortune, but honestly, that's okay. We already got four diamonds. I'm going to stash these guys away. 
for now, and then we're just gonna keep going. So, I mean, we technically have everything we need to make this enchanting table, I believe. We have the diamond that we need for the table itself, and also we have the diamonds to make that pick so we can gather obsidian. However, I just wanted to mine out a little bit further, just because it would be nice to have maybe a couple extras, maybe we can make some better tools, something like that. But if we don't come across anything else, then honestly, I still say this is a win. Okay, maybe I take back what I said about diamond distribution or whatever. I think maybe I just got lucky with the first column. <laughs> that that could have possibly been been part of it. <gasps> Never mind. I spoke too soon. Let's go. I think it might only be one. But oh, two. Okay, okay. Is that it? Sometimes there's some, like, hanging around in different spots. That's why I always dig around a lot. There might be some underneath, though. I'm holding out hope. Another two is pretty good, though. What is it about finding diamonds that is just, like... It's always exciting. Like, even in my long-term stream world, I don't even really need diamonds anymore because it's just one of those things where you come across them a bunch, but every time, even if you don't need them, it's just so exciting. I don't know what it is. All right, let's grab these ones. Perfect. So we have another three. Honestly, I'm like, I think we're done here. We have this strip mine in case we need it for other things, but I mean... We have seven diamonds. We have, if we were to make an enchanting table, I can't even, can't even get the recipe yet. I'm pretty sure it's just one diamond and a bunch of obsidian. So I feel like this is probably good for what we need today. We can always come back down here if we need to, but I'm pretty happy with this, I would say. Now I'm gonna leave all of the stuff we don't need here. Um, and I'm gonna grab some of the resources that we may need. And I think we should probably just like honestly head back up. This is established. If we want to upgrade our gear further down the line, it's all good. But we only have 30 levels anyway. So, eh, going back up, seeing what we can build, it's probably a good idea. <gasps> oh, that actually scared me. That was like straight out of a horror movie where like the monster just like sneakily walks by. You see it. Oh. He fell. It wasn't even me who got him. He took fall damage. <laughs> oh, I relate to that, buddy. I relate to that. All right, our boat is still here. So I think we're good to go home. And there's home right there, which is perfect. Everything is like just so easily accessible around this island, actually. It's quite surprising. It's in a really good spot. Look at that. That is looking so cool so far. Love it. Gonna have to take down some of these uh, chimneys eventually, though. Maybe by the time we build this next build, because guess what? I'm probably gonna put a chimney on it. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna have to extinguish some of these. Hello, ahoy there, Roger. Good day to you. Everything looks like it is in tip-top shape. Oh, Roger. Did you clean the deck? It is it is sparkling. Did you did you like buff it with some like wax and stuff? Oh my gosh. It's cleaner than it's ever been. Wow. He takes such good care of this place. Incredible. All right. So, We've got our diamonds, and we don't have a crafting table because I took it with me, I think. I don't know. Maybe there is one here. No, there's not. We have our diamonds. Wait, hold on a second. Let me put stuff away because sometimes having too much in your inventory just makes everything just a mess. So, we have our diamond. Oh! We have our very first diamond pick. Oh. Do you 
not get an achievement for that? Oh, I think it's only for armor. Why do I feel like you should get an achievement for tools, though? That's so weird. Hmm. So now that we're back from our caving adventure, I say we figure out where to build this thing. I think we did quite a bit of resource collecting. We've got a good, like, foundation for all of the materials we're going to need. The only thing I was considering today was dark oak. However, I don't know if I've come across it yet. We might have to do a little exploration today, but that's okay. That is a-okay. And I need to sleep. Definitely need to sleep. All right, let's get the bed over here. And I'm just going to start chopping down all of these trees again, just so we can kind of see what space we have to work with. Oh, while we're at it, let's feed the cows really quickly. We need to get that supply of leather up. So got to remember to do that and also harvest sugarcane in between all of these projects that we're doing. I don't know if any of them really need to be fed. Okay, there we go. I was just at the wrong angle. Perfect. Put that away. All right, this has cleared up a little bit of space for us. I can see things a little bit more clearly now. So what I'm kind of picturing is, actually, wait, let me just get rid of these trees too. All right, so what I'm kind of picturing is possibly like the build somewhere around here. However, I was kind of looking at this earlier before I started filming and I was like, this layer's pretty high up. I'm almost considering shedding this layer and then turning some of this area into grass and having the build somewhere nestled in here. And then this would give us space for like other types of builds and stuff. But ideally what I want is like a little pathway that goes from here. I'm picturing like a little mossy cobble stone pathway, very, very narrow amongst trees. And then the build nestled somewhere in here. So I think maybe what we should do is start off by um, just shaving off some of this, some of this area and trying to make like a bigger space for us to work with. All right, I terraformed quite a bit. I left some of the stone because I still want some of it to be rocky. Uh, however, I switched a lot of this over to grass because I think this is probably going to be the best spot for this build, like right around here. Um, so that way we can have like a, a pathway snake up through here and up over here. So let's free cam to see the change that I made. I think that's looking a lot better. I'm probably going to shed this layer as well eventually, but I just wanted to leave it for now because we put some work into terraforming. And since we're not really building anything else on it yet, I thought I'd just leave the decorations until we switch it up. But I think this is a pretty good start for uh, the build that we're going to do today. So we pretty much just have to figure out what we're going to build next. So we're going to have to consider the layout. And just like the size of it, because this really isn't that big of a space. I think it'll work, but I, it might be a little bit tight. I think it'll look good, though. Th this is the trick with this island, though, is that there's like kind of different styles of builds throughout. And they're all going to like relate to one another in terms of palette and stuff. But I find enchanting is like very fantasy driven. So I feel like there's going to be things that we're going to have to do to kind of keep that like fantasy style as opposed to something like a fishing hut 
So even little things like replanting trees when we're done will help a lot. All right, I'm going to put this stuff over here for now. So with the space that we've got, I think I'd like to keep like the bottom floor relatively simple. So we could do like a mix of stone and a site and maybe some stone bricks. Yeah, I want to keep it similar to what we've got going on with the lighthouse. Keep in theme with like the base and then we'll work from there. So if we are doing the stone bricks, that means we are going to have to, of course, burn up some stone. So cobblestone into regular stone. I don't have much uh, coal, so I'm just going to use planks or sorry, logs. And let me check to see what we've got uh, laying around the lighthouse, because we probably have some materials we could use. Let's see. Lots of stone. Got some stone bricks. We just need andesite. Do I really not have any? Huh. I thought I would. Seems like we don't really have any. I'm going to have to go grab some quickly. That's honestly something I thought I had an abundance of. I was like, nah, no need to worry about that. But apparently I should have to worry about it. All right. One last quick trip and then we should be good. Maybe. <laughs> We're still going to have to look for some dark oak too because I kind of have that in mind for like the roof trim, especially if we're using the calcite today. But we'll worry about that one after. For now, let's just grab the andesite. And also, uh, let's grab some extra spruce while we're out too. But before I go, I should probably be smart. Make another pickaxe. Let's go back really quickly. Today is uh, kind of heavy on gathering materials, it seems, but that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. It's all part of the process. We've got an axe. So I'm just going to make myself another pickaxe because we've been gathering lots of stones. All right, we are off. So I think there's an entrance somewhere over here. Yeah, let's go down here. Perfect. Whee! Whoa, 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 whoa. Cool. That was fun. <gasps> Ooh, coal. Time for us to get distracted again. Oh no. There we go. Got it. Okay. Let's grab some of this andesite. We have like a little... Oh, there's a creeper. Ah! He keeps like taking damage. Fall damage. <laughs> okay, I got him. I got him. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, let's uh let's just dig into our little andesite pit that we have here. This has actually been pretty handy. And if it's still daylight uh when we surface, I'll grab some spruce. But if not, we ain't gonna worry about it. We are so close to spruce that it honestly doesn't even matter. And also I do recognize that I have a diamond pick that we could use, but I just like I feel like I want to use it specifically for the obsidian first before anything. So, I, I'm just telling myself, don't use it yet. Alright, two stacks in a bit should be good. We're only going to be using it for the first floor of the build anyway, so not too worried about that. Maybe we'll grab a little bit more of this cobble as well. And then it's still pretty light out, so we have time to chop a couple spruce trees as well, which will definitely get us ahead for this build. Oh my. All right, let's get some of this. And let's start chopping this tree. Every time I make a staircase like this to chop down a giant taiga tree, 
in Minecraft, I think like, what if somebody did that in real life when they were chopping down a really big tree? People would be like, what are they doing? That makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> Minecraft logic applying it to real life sometimes is really funny. Where's my boat? Oh wait, my boat's here. That's why. I did some stunts earlier. Ooh, ice. Cool. All right, I think that's enough resources. I want to head home. It's getting dark. I want to go to bed. I need a good night's sleep. Home sweet home. Let's pop into bed really quickly. There we go. And now I think we're ready to begin building this thing. Before before we inevitably have to explore again. But hey, it is all good. All right, let's dump some of the stuff that we don't need currently. What we really need to focus on is the cobblestone, andesite, and stone brick. So we're gonna do that. And let's turn some more of this into stone bricks and I think we're good to go. So this is the area that we have to work with. I'm kind of thinking, hmm, maybe, Hold this back just like a slight little bit. And then we could fit like a little bit of a bigger build here. So what if we went like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would just fit if we went like lengthwise this way. It's kind of... I don't know, it's a little tight. I guess it, d it depends on how we want this thing to face. If we want it to face inwards like this or to the side like this. It really doesn't matter. But if we went, let's try maybe one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And obviously get rid of a little bit here. That's pretty far in as well. I'm being a little bit picky about this one. <laughs> I think it is important to get the placement right on like builds because sometimes it can really mess up like other spaces, especially in on like such a small island. Placement kind of does matter in a way, so it's like it's just one of those things. I mean, if we have the path leading up from here, we could go lengthwise this way, but I think maybe I might try that again. I feel like that's a better solution. I always, I find that I stress the most about like build placement because I'm always, I'm always trying to plan a couple steps ahead with different builds. So having to choose a spot is always stressful for me. Sometimes you just gotta send it though, you know? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have a small path that would lead up into here. These trees or leaves rather would be gone. They're kind of just hanging around, I think, because of this tree. Let's get rid of it. It's obstructing the view. So then if we have nine going lengthwise, we could probably go with like five for the main part. So if we're going to be doing a smaller entryway, what I'm kind of thinking is we have a piece that like kind of juts out. So then that would give us space to have an enchanting table. So you would have a spot where you walk in and then you turn to the right and the enchanting table's there. So maybe we go three blocks in, and then on the third block, or the fourth block in, sorry, we go one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. So 
something like that. So if we were to place an enchanting table in here, this actually would work. Because then you have, I think, because then you have your books and then the table. Wait, how would we make this work? <gasps> Wait, what if? Okay, hear me out. Small footprint down here. And then what we do is we can do that thing where you put like stairs on the top floor, like on the beams, and then make the build come out by like an extra block on every side. So then instead of having five, you would have like seven width and seven length and you would be able to fit the table. I feel like that's a good compromise. All right, let's do that. So this will be a little rough in for the entryway. And then from here, we'll probably go four blocks high. Four blocks is usually a good amount. Nearly done with the first floor. Can I jump onto this bed? Let's see. Oh, I made it. Let's go. Awesome. All right. What if we did like a window here, though, and then a door here? I feel like that makes sense. So let's free cam this and see what it looks like in the context of this island. I mean, I would say that's a pretty good footprint. So what we're going to have to do is surround this stuff by trees, I think. I mean, like, you don't have to, but I think just for, like, the sake of making this look a little bit more fantasy-like with trees, it's going to it's gonna look totally different, kind of how we brought these ones back, too. So I think that's looking pretty good for a footprint. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. So the first floor is done. Don't have to worry about any of this stuff anymore. We can put it away if we have space, that is. Second floor, what we're going to have to do to make space for the enchanting table. So I'm kind of thinking the enchanting table is going to have to go upstairs, which is fine. This just leaves us more space to do. I don't know. We can just throw a bunch of like storage and stuff in here if we want, right? Make it look all cute. So if the enchanting table is going upstairs, we need a little bit more space, meaning we're going to have to put beams out um, to give ourselves more room on the top floor. So what we can do is can put beams out like this. Uh, this corner is a little bit awkward. I'm going to have to fix that after. That looks kind of goofy. We'll attach that a little bit better later. All right, in between, let's get some slabbies. Just to put all of the pieces together. You know what? That looks fine. I don't mind that. Boom, boom. All of these put together. If the other piece is going like sideways, I think this one should too, realistically. Last but not least, let's fill this in. And I think that's good. Okay, perfect. 
So now all we really need to do is fill in the top part. And I'm kind of thinking, so with our palette on the island, of course, we've done like a lot of stone, a lot of spruce. And um, throughout every theme, I'm trying to mix it up in some way. So it's like we've got the spruce beams, but inside we've like the walls, we've got diorite. Uh, we incorporated deep slate, but then the copper. Same thing with this. We're just kind of mixing other pieces into each palette. So I think for this one, it would look kind of cool if we did calcite and diorite. It would be sort of similar to this, really, but we're just switching up the texture a little bit. The calcite makes things look a little bit more clean, I find. We've got approximately one piece of diorite. That is not going to do it. So I need to get some more. I think I have some in our storage over here. I should have checked before. I went mining again, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, you know what? That's kind of convenient. All right, we got lots of diorite. We're fine. We are fine. Time to rest my eyes. And for this one, all right, let's build up first. Get our beams ready. Do I have any dirt? Yes, I do. Perfect. Should probably scaffold up. Whee! So, because we've uh, made this little, like, jut out, we've given ourselves more space so we can do something like this. However, should I do barrels on the bottom? I actually haven't really been using, like barrels for the beams, which is very surprising. That's like something I always do. Maybe I will for this one out to ground the build a little bit more. We have lots of like planks and stuff. We can make some barrels. Easy peasy. Nine should do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we need about six. Oh wait, no, we would need more than that. Classic me though, always miscounting everything. <laughs> On stream, we call it counting with drift because it's just me trying to count and panicking and doing it wrong. So this is nothing new. All right, let's start this off with the barrels in every corner. And then let's build up with some spruce beams. So we've got one layer. I think we'll probably go four high as well. Um, I'm kind of guessing that we, I've done like very basic roof lines for all of these. Maybe I'd like to add a little bit more height to that, like this one, especially cause this one's gonna be more fantasy. So I think I'll put like most of the height in the roof line instead. So for this one, I'll go one, two, three, four high. I think that should be good. Two, three, four. Oh, I tried jumping to it, but I didn't even hit the jump button. Whoop. Ow. Ow. Relaxing commentary long play. Two hours of ankle breaking noises. Ow. Okay, that's that's the last of it for the next while, I promise. Okay, don't promise I'll probably fall or something. But I'll try my best. I will try my best. Okay, so that's all in place. Let's take a quick little look to see what it looks like with the beams jut out. I think that's a good shape. And also you can see this just gives us so much more space upstairs. So now I can actually fully see it. You can see the line where the enchanting table would go uh, and right in the middle. Sorry, the bookshelves would go here and then right in the middle, the enchanting table would go. So it's more than enough room, I think. And also it kind of makes the build look a little bit less big in a way when the beams are kind of like jut out on the second floor only. 
It feels like a safe space, and I think that's really important on such a small island. So let's put this stuff away for now. And next, I think I'd like to fill in the walls. I'm still kind of picturing there being a dark oak trim for the roof. So we are going to have to figure that out. I'm thinking we just like go and adventure, see what's out there. I have a feeling if there's like giant taiga and like regular taiga forest, especially over here, it seems like there was a really good mix of biomes. I have a feeling that there's probably dark oak close by. We just haven't seen it yet. I'm kind of banking on this area, to be honest, because um, this is where I saw the most like array of different biomes. Over there, there's ice spikes, so I'm just like not too sure about that. So I'm, I'm thinking about going uh, in the opposite direction of those. All right, let's fill in the walls with just like a mix of diorite and calcite. I feel like this is going to give like a nice smooth texture, especially because with the fishing hut, we have like a very rough, messy texture on the wall with just the diorite, especially like the one that isn't polished. So with this one, I think you'll see like the difference is going to be pretty stark. Let's fill it in with calcite and let's take a look at this wall. Yeah, you can already see like the difference between the two in terms of, whoa, where am I? There we go in terms of textures. Similar, but different, you know? Which is kind of the theme of this base. We Now here's to hoping we have enough calcite for this. I really hope so. Oh. I think I'll fill this wall in fully as well. No window for this one. Gives us more space to kind of place items if we need to. Whee! We. All right, walls are all filled in. And let's take a look at that. Ow, sorry. I think I went pretty diorite heavy on this wall. But also, I want to see what it's going to look like when we get the roof trim in. I think that's looking good, though. Yeah, I like that. Looking real nice. So in the context of the island as a whole, I mean, this is already looking like a bigger footprint for a build, especially compared to this guy. This one's so small. I love it, though. But I think this is going to add some, like, nice weight to the center of the island, you know? Perfect. All right, so with that all in place, I mean, the outline of the build is done, so I think what we need to do is we need to go find dark oak and get a trim going. So if we're going to be doing dark oak with the um, with the trim, I think deep slate would be a really nice block for the center. Uh, I have a ton of it, too. And also, it would be nice to incorporate some deep slate into the build. I think I want to go tiles again for sure. I'm really liking the tiles. So let's go and adventure and find our dark oak. Do I have enough resources? I have some food. I can put all of this stuff away, and I think we're good to go. Before we leave, though, I should probably harvest some sugar cane and also feed the cows, though. Can't forget to keep doing that, because that stuff is going to come in handy for sure. I also should probably bring the diamond pickaxe, and also a water bucket, just in case. If we come across lava, that means we could grab our obsidian, and that would just be, that would be so perfect. I'm running out of room. I'm gonna need another chest. All 
Perfect. Last but not least, let's feed our cows. Hello, fellas. Hello, hello, hello. Looking good, looking good. You know what? We could probably uh, gather up some leather and food as well. It's getting quite cramped in there. Oh my gosh, run away, cow. Yeah, this is ridiculous. I'm literally being tossed around like in a mosh pit. Look. <laughs> this is also good because it gives us a supply of food, which we're starting to run a little bit low on. Oh no. Sorry, dude. You escaped for like one second, but. I kind of foiled your plans, didn't I? Let's go to our little fishing hut and cook this in the smoker because it'll be a bit faster. Then we can take some with us on our journey. Yay. Oh, nighttime. Sleepies. I'm going to try to start eating some of this fish so it's just like out of my inventory too. I have like three different types of food in different slots. All right, get rid of this salmon for now. This will be like emergency food because we just have so much steak at this point. This is awesome. 12 should be okay for a journey that I'm hoping won't take too long. I don't think it will. I have faith that there's like quite a bit of stuff out there, you know? So we've got our pick, we've got a sword, we've got all that stuff. All we really need is a bed. And I think we're pretty much good to go. All right, dark oak. We're just going to head this way and just kind of see what's around. We swung over like to the left, though, last time, right? And I think I found a river. It was when we were looking for sheep. Which, if we come across those two, that would also be nice because we need some wool. Also, I don't know if it's a thing where I tend to find dark oak forests close to birch. I have seen them also, like, close to giant taigas, but I find that birch and dark oak are usually, like, next to one another. So, I just, I think this will work out. Birch for days. Okay, we got the planes up there. That's where I got the wool last time. I'm hoping this river kind of just like leads me somewhere, you know? Probably could have just gone the route of like wrapping around the spruce part of the ocean, but hey, it'll probably end up leading to the same spot. That's okay though. I like exploring little scenic areas in Minecraft. It's so fun. Honestly, also, this is just like a really nice area to build a base. <laughs> this I love like just really nice winding rivers that actually connect to spots and don't just like die off. Like, look at this. This is picturesque. It would be perfect for like a cute little cottage core base with tons of bridges and stuff. Oh, it's been a couple days since we've had rain, actually. As long as it doesn't turn into a thunderstorm, I kind of welcome this. We're just vibing anyway, so. Got like a rocky cliffside, which has a lot of coal. That's actually kind of good. And then we, okay, that's got to be dark oak right there. Yep. Look at that. Okay, so the river did lead to it, which is awesome. I think we could probably find a shorter route home because I kind of like, did a really long curve around. It looks like there's more river that connects that way. I bet you any money that is like a shortcut to our home. Oh, there's a zombie there. I think I'm just gonna avoid him. Maybe park right around here. And then we can start just like collecting stuff. 
Nice, look at that. Need to be careful because there's probably lots of mobs around here. No, leave me alone. I'm just trying to peacefully chop some trees. Jeez. And now's the perfect opportunity to get ourselves some wool as well. Thank you very much. I'm honestly just going to grab as much of this dark oak as I can, especially because of the saplings. I find that they don't drop as frequently for dark oak saplings. So they're kind of a pain in the butt to collect. My axe broke, so I am just punching these with my fist. Why does it seem like punching a tree is actually not a daunting task in the beginning when you have nothing, but if your axe breaks and it's the only thing you can resort to, it feels so much slower than like the first time you punch a tree in a new world. Okay, I think we have a good amount. Ow! Oh my, that scared me. Ow, I have nothing to defend myself with. Get out of here, you're being mean. Why can't we coexist? Oh no, don't involve the cow. I'm just gonna, just gonna hit you with this bed at this point. Take that. All right, I think I need to sleep too. This is getting a little bit dodgy. Well, that was an experience. Uh, I'm watching my back for just a second. I don't trust anybody here. So I've got quite a few stacks. I've got about four stacks of dark oak. I think that should be good. I also got a bunch of saplings, surprisingly. So I'm going to head back because I think that is a good amount of stuff. Now, should I take the shortcut? I feel like I should. I want to try to stop off at that lava pit too and get the obsidian. And I think with that, that's pretty much everything that we need. Ooh, pumpkins. Can I get up here quickly? I feel like these would look really nice in the wheat field. Let me just punch them. Nice. And some more sheep. Don't mind if I do. All right, this was significantly faster, honestly. Definitely a shortcut. Well, at least we know where the dark oak forest is, and already this build is starting to look so cool. Love when builds pop up. It just, it's just like so fun to watch things slowly evolve. And I think this island's looking pretty cool. All right, let's try to find this lava pit. Where was it? I know I stopped the fire from happening. Did I cover it up? I hope I didn't. There were like half burnt trees, weren't there? From what I remember. Oh, that was not good. Don't tell me I was like, oh, I'm so scared. And then I covered the whole thing up. And now it's gone. Ooh, Lily of the Valley. That'd be a good flower to have. Especially around this fantasy build today. Let's go. Okay, I might admit defeat on the lava for now. I'm sure there's like a ton of other lava pits around. We'll go find one later. Now, where's my boat? Oh, there it is. Nice. Whoa. All right, let's go back to the island. Perfect. 
All right, let's put away some of the stuff that we don't need just yet. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put these little pumpkins around here, you know? Just add a little, little bit of spice to this area. Just a little bit though. Nothing too spicy. There we go. Just a little, little pumpkin here. Oop. Oh, no. Come on. There we go. This is more meticulous than I thought it would be. Whoa! Double high pumpkin. Now that's that's just too much pumpkin. We don't need that. All right, one more. One more pumpkin for good measure. Actually, we have two, so two more. One here. And one right here. Why not? Boom. Nice. Cute. Just a little bit of just a little bit of texture and shape sprinkled throughout. I think that's looking good. All right, let's just toss this stuff in here, and I think we're pretty much ready to begin building. All right, so we've got all of our dark oak, which we can use. That's perfect. So I think for this roof, I mentioned before, I kind of wanted there to be a little bit more height to this build, and. I was just kind of thinking about implementing that with the roof um, and basically just making this a little bit more steep than how we did these builds. Uh, these ones are all just slabs, stairs, just very basic. Not that it's a bad thing, but I think that we should mix it up a bit, a like a little bit more for this one. So let's go ahead and just get a bunch of stairs and I would say planks. And then maybe from here... We should probably scaffold up. Do I have more dirt? Kind of want to use a little bit more dirt for scaffolding. If we're going to be going a lot higher, we're going to need it. And we've got like another stack. That is perfect. Okay. So let's just add to this little staircase that we've got. Now let's start building this up. I think that's perfect. So I think I want to start on the side just because it is the front of the build. So I'm just going to go with stairs like this. And we're going to have to go out by one more. So we're going to have a little bit of a gap here, but that's okay. And what I'm kind of thinking is instead of uh, doing like upside down stairs all the way through and up, I was kind of thinking of leaving it just like blank as is. We'll have dirt as the placeholder and then slowly working our way up with just planks. Because this kind of like it gives a roof just like a little bit of a different look and vibe to it. So what if we went like this? Probably gonna fall in here, let's be real. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> I thought I was gonna fall through again. All right, let's kind of like take a look. I did not have to run all the way down because I have free cam. Why did I do that? But you know, what? it is important to look at it from ground level. I mean, minus the dirt, we're going to have to get rid of that. I think that is exactly what I kind of wanted to go for. We can fill in these gaps in between because it does look very like jagged, but we can use other things like other than stairs. Um, something that I typically use to fill in the gaps are like gates and stuff to add a little bit more detail. So I think it would be kind of interesting to maybe, maybe go that route and see what happens. I mean, if we don't like it, the best part is we can just get rid of it, right?
So let's do the same thing on this side. We'll go up one, two, one, and then get lots of height on the top part. And I think that's three. That should be good. Got to sleep really quickly though. Whee. And my bed. Oh, it's right here. Perfect. All right, so that part is done. Oh, we might as well finish off this part right here. So this is a little bit tricky because the beam is, the beam would be coming from here, I think. Whoops. Oh no, I forgot I don't have an ax. I should probably go make one, shouldn't I? That might make our lives a little bit easier. Doop, doop, doop. There we go. So I think this one's going to have to rest right here. That's in line. Perfect. Let me go out one. And then finally, we just go up with dirt again. And we build up. Perfect. So we'll detail out like the trim and stuff across afterwards. I usually just start like, um, with the skeletal frame of all of this and then slowly work my way up filling things in so that's good Let's just get rid of all this dirt for now i like the shape i think we're going to keep it so might as well get rid of all of these temporary blocks while we're at it so we can get a better idea of how this is going to look so now we have this side piece that comes out and i think we should probably do a similar thing uh, that we're doing with this where we don't have like upside down stairs in between we keep with like the dirt and then what we can do is let's just get rid of this quickly it's a little bit in the way so then what we can do is maybe just go up by like one block instead of two so what I'm kind of thinking I'm thinking this one resting a little bit lower into this roof line would uh, end up looking really nice. So let's just make it a little bit smaller. Just so it's not competing for the shape. That's kind of what I have in mind. Like I want this little side um, bit to the build to just be a little bit smaller, a little bit more subtle. And then like the main structure is still the main focus of the build. See how that looks. Still just a skeletal frame, um, but you can kind of see what I mean by that. I think if anything, this needs like two blocks for just like a little bit of a higher peak. But I think the actual like general shape of it is all right. Let's see if that made a difference. Oh yeah, that is perfect. Hi there, Infinite Drift. I hope you're having a great day. Oh. Thank you, Infinite Drift. I'm having a, a great day. Thank you for asking. And hi, viewers. I hope you're all having a great day, too, with whatever you're doing. I hope I hope everything's good whenever you're watching this, too, because this could potentially be months from when I release this. Hope hope, hope you're just having a, a, a good one. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. All right, it is deep slate time. Let's just... Let's just fill this right in with deep slate tiles. Now, I do have some other ideas because I was like, I want to make this a little bit magical. And I do have some options. I mean, we collected that amethyst, right? We could do a sprinkle a little bit of magic. Just just a little sprinkle, you know? Maybe in the roof of the build. That'd be a nice uh, place for that. And also... I feel like sometimes adding a little bit of moss makes things a little magical, too. Now, moss is like a pretty big contrast with deep sleep, but sometimes it just kind of works, you know? I don't know if we have any. Okay, we have 14. We might be able to get away with that. Because I don't... I think if we're going to put that into the roof, it's not going to be a lot.
So let's give those blocks a shot too. How about we do that? I'm gonna have to scaffold up a little bit more, maybe like this. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall. All right, let's just start filling this in. Easy peasy. Just go across here. Perfect. Just gonna keep the roof nice and simple so we can add just like a little bit of detail to it afterwards. So I'm gonna leave these um, these roof trims for now. I think I'd like to close it off with dark oak. So we won't fill them in just yet. Just worry about the deep slate for now. Oh, can I get to that spot? Let's see. So before I fill the rest in, I mean, the shape's looking pretty good. It's looking very, like, very simple, but in a good way. You know, I think it'll blend well into the island. I think it already is, honestly. It's a bit bigger of a build, which is nice, because we, we want to have, like, bigger stuff popping up eventually. But what I have in mind with this, so we have this little, like, nook here, and this is usually the perfect place for, like, a chimney maybe, but I was kind of thinking, like, we could add in our little sprinkle of magic here, right? Because we were talking about that before, where we just gotta, we gotta add a little, just a little bit of magic to this build. What if we tried some moss? An amethyst. Now it would look even better if we had access to the amethyst shards to place on top, but unfortunately we don't. Um, because we weren't able to collect it. We don't have silk touch, but I think something like this, we could still make do with it. I think it'll still look cute. Let's just kind of expand it a little bit more out here. And then... Something like this. Now it looks a little bit goofy right now because it's just like also contained to one spot. But I feel like if we, hmm. One, we add a little bit more moss to this, just to peel it up like a little bit more. So it looks a little bit more overgrown. And then two, on the moss, we could put some grass and maybe that lily of the valley that we got. That would actually be perfect. I think that would be good. I'm also wondering, what if we did like, a dormer roof or something as well. Let's see. Gotta get the dark oak. Probably should make some slabs. Oh, hi. What you doing, buddy? What are you doing? What about, like, right around here? One, two, and then... Boop. Something like that. I feel like that's a good spot, and then we could just put, like, a little, um... Like a little... Whatchamacallit? I'm losing my words right now. Oh my gosh. Fence. Fence gate. Right in there. Just to seal it off a bit, and I think that would be kind of cool. 
and we'll just like leave that open and and then once we like bone meal this and stuff i think it'll look really cool actually yeah i like that it's simple it's not too much but i think it does the job now for this side though kind of thinking i'm like what if we do a chimney on this side? Usually like nooks like this are perfect, but I feel like we should get a little bit of detail back here. Can you make, hear me out. Can you make like cracked deep slate? <gasps> it's burning. Can you? No way. I actually did, I didn't know that. I don't really build with deep slate tiles that often. Oh my gosh. I feel like that's something I should have known, you know? Hey, this is awesome. That would look great for a, uh, a chimney though. So we'll use that for sure. I should probably sleep though. All right, so let's get some stairs. I'm gonna grab a couple more of these. And since I already have everything, I should probably make the actual campfire. Do I have any coal? I could steal one. Perfect. Let's get this little guy here. This, and then we're good to go. And then for, hmm, actually for this chimney, let's do some trap doors. Some dark oak ones. All right. I feel like because this is more of a fantasy style, more, a little bit of a magical build, we should do like a twisty looking chimney if that makes sense so maybe we could do something like this where it goes like oh hello jeez just like <laughs> wandering trader get out of here i'm busy come on always interrupting all right what if we did this i also think azalea leaves would look really good with this build um, they just have that like crunchy crispiness to them. So I'd like to add some of those as well. And I think this is good. It just needs, I need to remove either this or this. Cause it's just a little bit like too much block going on. You know, what does that look like? I think that's cute. Yeah. All right. So we got our little old style, just like worn out chimney. It's looking good. And where is this dude? Is he like, oh my gosh. Sir, this is not your build. It's not your build. Oh, you have moss. Just kidding, I don't need it. I don't need it. Stop it. Oh no, my torches, that was on me. That was on me. I'm being a little bit mean right now. I recognize that, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not very neighborly. I am not very neighborly, but also, you know, the viewers, they're trying to just like hang out and listen and you're just like, huh? Huh? But also I'm like, is that any more annoying than me talking and just yapping, you know? Maybe he's trying to tell me something. Maybe he's trying to tell me drift. You talk too much. Nah, it couldn't be me. All right, let's get, what was it that I needed again? I got very distracted. Do I have azalea leaves? I think that's what I wanted. I don't think I do. I don't even think we've run into an azalea tree now that I think about it, because we just had lush cave. So let's just use some oak leaves. Um, and then we could use, oh, birch would be nice. That one's very like crunchy, you know? We also have four diamonds. Oh my gosh. I don't, did we even need to go into the cave to begin with? Or are these the diamonds that I got today? I don't even remember. Where did I get these from? I don't even remember. <laughs> Sometimes it's like a week between episodes, so I genuinely do forget what has happened um, prior. So I'm guessing I got those somewhere and I actually had enough for an enchanting table all along. I did. Well, would you look at that? That is hilarious. To be fair, though, it's always nice to have some extra diamonds, so it's not really a loss. You know, I feel like framing with the birch leaves is the right choice. How did you get on the roof? Get down here. It's so dangerous. 
Do you even have- do you have certification? Do you have training to be up here? I feel like you don't. Here, come this way. Come on. Come on. Yep. Over here. Yep. Yep. I mean, honestly- OW! Uh oh, there he goes. I'm so sorry. Oh, now he's running away. I'm sorry, dude. You know what? Where, where did he even go? Where's the wandering trader? Sir, you need to take better care of your animals. Do you understand? That's very mean that you left one on a roof. Oh, jeez. Can't be responsible for this guy. Listen. Please. Oh, how did that happen? Huh? I thought that was a chest. I'm getting so frazzled by this wandering trader that I thought I was putting all those items in a chest. Oh, boy. You don't see a thing. I'm not doing anything. Okay? This is between us. I'm a monster, aren't I? Alright, this is looking good. So, I need to fill in some more spots with the calcite and uh, diorite. If only I know what I did with my diorite. Did I use it all? Wow. There's no possible way. It's gone. Alright, let's go get some more. And then we just need to fill in some of the beams too, because we're missing some. But the main structure is like pretty much done, minus the trim, so... That ain't bad. There we go. For some reason, it's in here. Don't ask me why. My logic, there is none. Alright, let's just get this filled in. And last but not least, whoops, let's just put some right here too. What if I did another window? Would that be wild? I think that could look good, you know? Let's try it out. How's this shape looking? Yeah, I think this is looking really cool. Very much like that. Cool. We need some like more leaves around here or something because just that one line down looks a little goofy. But we can we can just add in a quick little quick little spot there. So for the trim of the roof, since we're going up there anyway, um, let's get that done first. I kind of had the thought to make the trim a little bit of a different design with some dark oak. So we could go like this. And in the middle point, just meet it there with a plank. So then we get this like really nice looking design. Simple, easy, and honestly, I just think that's like super effective. So we can do the same thing along here as well, and we're good to go. You know what, I'm gonna get rid of that and just attach it fully. And I need to bring my birch back. Let's get some more of those leaves. Mm. Ouch. Something like that. And then I think that should be good. Now, if only I can just hop over like this. Perfect. 
Perfect. I think for the most part, minus that um, fence in the middle, the roof is pretty much done. I really like the look of that. I think it looks nice. Yeah. Nice and simple. So what we're going to have to focus on now, I'm going to leave the staircase because we're probably going to have to come back here for other stuff. But what we can focus on now is just like kind of detailing it out. Structure's done. Looking great. It just needs just needs some life added to it, you know? And of course, a lot of things that we usually start with are the lanterns and all that stuff. But I think I'm going to start with the gates that I was talking about on the edges of the rooftop. So let's get our dark oak again. And let's do that. Let's make a bunch of gates. 20 should be good, I think. Oh, got to sleep. So with these gates, basically what you do is you literally just like Place one, pop it open, and then that's pretty much it. At the top, we could probably do like a full fence. That would probably look best. And let's free cam. So it's not like a huge amount of detail, but it's just that little bit. That just adds a little bit of like, kind of just like shape to the bottom. Otherwise, it's just such a harsh edge. Kind of helps dull it a bit. And I think that's perfect. So we just need to do that on the other sides and then we're good for that. Oh, I forgot to fill this in too. My bad. Probably gonna need some more gates as well. Just go up and fill in the beams. Boom, boom. And we can fill the rest of this in. And then get our gate pieces right here. Whoops, wrong way. Perfect. And across. I wonder if I can just make it across here. Probably. Awesome. So that's all done. I knew I was going to fall. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> uh, I was just waiting for it, honestly. It was bound to happen. It's fine. It's what I'm wearing armor for. <laughs> all right, let's get some lanterns. These cows are so loud. I should probably turn the animal sounds down. Is it iron nuggets and then, yeah, there we go. I wanna hang some of these lanterns on chains just cause this is like pretty high up. I think we could get away from that. Get away, get away with that. There we go. One chain should probably do the trick. This is in the way. 
kind of. Yes, there we go. There we go. And last corner. Perfect. All right. That is looking good. How's it looking from like here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Very cool. So now we're just gonna need some windows. I would definitely like to go glass for this one, I think. Glass definitely makes it feel a little bit more like, I don't know, kind of more like put together for a build. Let me just make a regular fence real quick, too. We're going to need a couple of these guys. Really wish I had some scaffolding. That would have been really nice to have. Boom. Boom. And I can't forget the dormer. All right here. And then the last one, I'll go around the other way. We'll just pillar up. Boom. We're getting there. Really, all we need are just like, just some details now, that's it. So we can put in probably a door. I would say probably a spruce door. It's just got that vibe. Cause like, up top, the build feels very fancy, but then here it still feels a little bit like rugged in a way. So I feel like spruce door just kind of fits that. So, I would say maybe we do like just a cobblestone entryway like that or a cobbled deep slate. Sorry. Perfect. And then let's grab a couple of these and I'm going to pop out the blocks above the doors, the door in the window. Pop them here just for a little bit of extra shape. Looking good. Then we could take that birch that we had. Pop one here. Pop one here. Maybe get one on the side. Should we do a window here? Yeah, let's do a window. Something like that. And then I think having some planters would be really nice. Do I have dark oak trapdoors? Yes, I do still. Perfect. So we could do a little planter like this, something a little bit fancier, since it's like a little studious enchanting area. Something like that. The dark oak trapdoors look like little slabs of chocolate and I just want to just want to eat them you know I really want to just bite into one and just go that's it that's all perfect we just need some glass on these windows and we are good to go oops I feel like this wall is a little bare, but at the same time, I don't really mind it. I'm like, honestly, just maybe put a couple of like leaves and stuff down here and maybe something, whoops, something here. And all of this is probably gonna get like transformed into grass and I'd like to plant trees anyway. So it doesn't really matter, I would say. I think that's okay. So that's good. All good to go. We just need our glass now. I 
think I have some. Yes, I do. Nice. So many. Ooh, we also have bricks. I can make like a couple of cute pots. Maybe put that on um, one of the overhangs we have on the window. That'd be nice. So let's just convert all of these into flower pots. Let me bring a lily of the valley. I love that flower. It is so nice. Oh, and before I forget, let's make another shovel. I still have this like one block of dirt just like kind of kicking around. There we go. Ouch, what is happening? Oh, completely forgot I put that there. So then we could place the little flower pot here and just get a little lily of the valley. So cute. Then finally, we just need some glass panes here. Then I think we're like pretty much good to go. Maybe one here as well. Get as much light in as we can for these sides because the other walls don't really have windows. I think that's looking cute though. Hey, look at that. I mean, we're gonna have to see it in the morning because the sun's about to set, but even like in the evening with that dirt scaffolding and all that sugar cane around, that's starting to look pretty cute, you know? Starting to look really good. So I think like with the main, um, like all of the main decorations done on the outside, obviously I wanna add some like barrel piles and stuff like that after. I think we should focus on the inside and maybe get the enchanting done or like some of the stuff set up and then we're good to go. So let's of course start this off by placing a block there. Um, every time you build a house, you should place a block next to the door right here. That was an accident. <laughs> Just trying to fill in the floor. All right, let's fill in this floor. I think I'm going to go dark oak because it'll I want it to be a little bit more like moody in here. I think that'll be the perfect vibe. All right, perfect. So that's all good. Then basically what we're gonna have to do is it's a little bit awkward because the flooring, I mean, if we place flooring like right here, then the problem is we have stone up top beside it, but that could also work as a nice trim, you know? So another thing that I wanna do is I wanna try to make like a spiral staircase if we can, as long as it will, allow it for the room because I think the uh, enchanting table would probably be best here. See how much room we have? Like there's actually quite a bit here. So that is not really a concern. I'm thinking with the spiral staircase though, we go, oh, I have a lot of stuff in my inventory, don't I? Should probably do something about that. Otherwise we're just gonna be battling with it the whole time. We're also gonna need some more slabs to fill in the ceiling and stuff. And then I think we're good. So spiral staircase, I think it should go up like this. Let's put, okay, that's good. Whoops. Oops, why did I do that? My bad. This is, I don't think it's right because I messed up the placement of this one. This one should technically be, I think like, oh wait, no, that is how I normally do it. Oh, there we go, there we go, that's it. Perfect, I believe. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's so funny, I built a bunch of these and now I'm like, huh? How do you build this? Every once in a while that happens, doesn't it? Nah, this is good though. This is good. 
Here we go. We've got the slabs in between just so we can kind of like curve the staircase as we wish. And then that's perfect. Can I put a, like another ceiling piece here? Yeah, we won't hit our heads. That's perfect. All right. So we can just fill this in with slabs, I think. I don't think the trim really matters. Let's torch this up as well, just in case. And I just blocked that off. It's all good though. Can go to about here, so that's perfect. We can do like a little cute like banister here or something. The enchanting table is gonna go right here though. That's the only issue. I'm like, maybe this is a little bit too close, you know? I feel like it's a good thought I really do love like spiral staircases, but if we have like a spiral staircase going up and then actually, you know what? What if we put the enchanting table right here? That should be fine. And then we could just do like storage or something here. Cause that gives us like one extra block of room that we need. Okay, cool. So that works. I feel like we should do a spruce ceiling though. I don't really want the floor and the ceiling to be the same. I need quite a bit, I think. That should be good. Oops, I'm using the the dark oak slabs. My bad. You know what? Just had a thought. Especially because this ceiling is actually lower than I thought. So what we could do is, what if we do like dark oak on the trim part of it, like this? Also, I don't want anything to spawn in this little like, I guess, attic area. So let's torch it just in case. We'll do a little bit of a trim and then kind of like spruce in the middle or something. Maybe strips of spruce could be kind of cool. Like that. We're almost there with this design. So this is just like a little bit too flat. I'm gonna raise the spruce by one block here and here, and it doesn't really matter because the window, it won't get in the way of the window. So then it'll have like a little bit more depth to it, right? Oops. Oh no. Then go across like this. I think this will look good. Just wanted a little bit of a design on the ceiling to make it a little bit more interesting, you know? So for this one though, what we're gonna have to do is probably spruce here, spruce here. Maybe connect that one and connect this. I don't know if that looks goofy. No, I think that works. I think that works. Yeah, that's cute. Perfect. Okay, so we just need to attach this beam all the way to the top like this. And we're good to go. And then all we really need to do is decorate. And I think we should probably start off by getting our bookshelf ready. This is so exciting. I love getting all this stuff together. It's very fun. You know what I realized? I don't even know if I have lapis, though. We might have to go into the caves and get some, because every time we went into the caves and I saw lapis, I was like, I don't need that, and I'd just leave it. But I might actually need it now, <laughs> so. Classic. Actually classic. All right, let's start with our paper. 
Lots and lots of paper. Then we'll get our leather. Give me that knowledge. How much knowledge did I receive? I'm not sure. Let's see. Bookshelf. Six. I think we need more knowledge than that, especially because we need to make the enchanting table. So, in order to obtain this knowledge, we need to feed cows. Give me your knowledge, please. They're just like, what are you talking about, Drift? What are you going on about? Also, I turned down the sounds of the cows. I hope it's a little bit better for you all. It was, it was pretty loud. Oh, no, sorry. Oops, you're just, I guess you're just hanging out now. You're just chilling, dude. That's fine, you can just vibe there. All right, can I make any more, any more knowledge? Three leather, that's all I got? Are you kidding me? Oh my. That's it? That's not enough knowledge. Did I, I think I left some in there. I think I left some knowledge behind, I did. All right, that's, that's a little bit better. Thank you for your knowledge. I need more, oh yeah, I need to make books first. Completely forgot. So that's nine. How much do you need for a table? I don't even remember, is it 14? Could be. 14 bookshelves. And I think we need three for the actual enchanting table as well. So let me just at least start placing these ones. It'll go, I guess, across like this, this. Oh yeah, this is not nearly enough. I feel like it's, how many did I place again? One, two, three, four, five, like nine. I think it needs to be at least 12 from what I remember. I just toss like some torches in here. I can't even it there we go. Just hide them in there. Just for extra lighting. You know what? This space is really cool though. I like it. It's also like a nice little nook. We could do something with this. I want to see it in the proper daylight as well. Uh the shadows kind of cast on it. That's okay, though. This is looking really cute, though. Oh my gosh, this is like the first time I've seen it in proper daylight, because we keep looking at it during sunset. That looks nice, though. Whoa. Yeah, see all the campfires? It's starting to just, like, ignite the entire island. It looks so goofy. But we'll fix that. It's starting to look good as a unit, though. Getting more builds on here. We have so much space to work with. All right, so I think since we're done with all of this stuff, um, I would say we probably have to go find a lava pit. That's probably the best bet. I'm thinking maybe we go over to that area where the plains was again. That'll probably be the spot we'll have the most luck, I would say. I find that lava pits are always like in plains, just kind of just kind of hanging about there. So we, wait, I do have this, right? Yeah, I have my diamond pickaxe. We're good. We are good. So we've reached the plains. I would say we get off just around here. And let's grab the boat. And let's just search around for a lava pit. There should probably be one close by. There's usually quite a few in the plains, I find. That's where I have the most luck anyway. 
but I'm going to have to be very quiet trying to hear the noises of the lava, which is very hard for me because I, I just never stop talking, so. Uh, let's see. Anything over here? You know, while we're here, actually, we'll shear some sheep as well. Oh, look at the little baby sheep. Look at it. Look at his big head. <laughs> so cute. All right, get over here. I'm also going to shear some grass while we're at it because I mentioned I wanted that on the roof. And I'd rather not use bone meal for stuff like that just because it's so easy to place yourself. So we're going to do that as well. Dang, maybe my theory on lava pits was wrong all along. <laughs> oh, my theory was correct. Okay, perfect. Easy. Easy. Actually, let's grab some of these flowers, too. These are some nice flowers. I don't even think I have any of these. Well, I don't have the corn flowers, that's for sure. Perfect. Okay. Oh, it looks like it is starting a fire, too. Great. Oh, okay. All right, let's let's extinguish this. And let's grab our obsidian. Now, for a table, I'm assuming it's probably like, I don't even know how much. Like three, probably, I would assume. But I might grab a little bit more. Um, Just because if we're gonna be lighting up the lighthouse at the end of this series, I was kind of thinking maybe like, oh no. Maybe glowstone or something could be nice. And we need to go to the nether for that, so. Can I like kind of prevent the obsidian this way from like falling into lava? I feel like that might be smart. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice. I think that will bring up the enchanting table. No, it won't. I don't know why it won't. What else am I missing? What could I possibly be missing for an enchanting table? Huh. Oh, wait, you know what? It probably didn't show up because I would have to use the crafting table to see that recipe. I'm pretty sure. Because it's a bigger one. Okay, I think this is going to be the last one I break. I gathered quite a bit, I would say. Probably enough for what we need. If we want to do a portal down the road. I think so. Okay, I got 16. I feel like that's enough. I hope. Because it takes so long. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright, let's head back. And let's get this enchanting table made. Ooh, sheep. So many sheep. Might as well gather all the wool we can. Alrighty. Ow! Head into the river and off we go. There's home up ahead. Look at that. That build is looking pretty cute so far. I like it. Lots of campfires. I feel like we need to build a little dock out this way too, though. That'd be really nice because we only have like one entryway point on the island so far. I feel like right here would be perfect, actually. We should do maybe like, I don't know, in the next build that we do, we should kind of focus on getting some like alternate paths and docks and stuff. Let me just get this sugar cane quickly. We're going to need it. I think we need more leather, too, which has kind of been the problem for us. Not that it's a huge problem, but it's definitely less than I have less than I thought I would need. Got to feed the cows a bit. Oh, there's just a baby cow in here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> just a little guy. OK, enchanting table. So if we type it in here, yep, we have it now. So it's one book, two diamonds, and four obsidian. Okay, well, 
I thought it was one diamond, so that's perfect that we have an abundance. Well, not an abundance. We have enough, though. And the obsidian. Then we just need two books. I don't know if I have any right now. I might have to go get some cows from another area because we don't I don't want to like thin the herd too much otherwise we're in trouble later down the road so I might just pop over to that forest again really quickly just to get some more leather because I don't see anything that I've stashed away I'm trying to double check because sometimes I can't see what's in my inventory All right, let's 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 head over really quickly. There's a ton of cows over there. We should be good with that. Please drop me some leather, I beg. Okay, we got some. We just need two books, that's it. We got two leather. Does that mean we have two books, technically? I trust the math is right, but I also don't at the same time, you know? Because my math is always, always off. I'm pretty sure that would just mean we have two books. I'm going to risk it. And if not, we'll maybe get a couple cows from our, uh, our barn. All right, let's head back. And where are we at? There we go. Book. Two books. Look at that. So we can make our enchanting table. So let's pop in all of this stuff. Get the diamonds. Get the two books. What goes here? What is this? What is happening? Is it like a plank or something? Oh, I had it totally wrong. It was one book. It was just one book. Okay, perfect. Easy peasy. The moment of truth. Do you not get an achievement for that either? I don't think I remember what all of the Minecraft achievements are. I need to work on that. But that's okay because we now have our enchanting table and it is ready to go. So I say we place it right here. Um, as you can see, we only have 18 levels. So we're going to have to work on getting uh, just a couple more bookshelves. However, I think we should also work on getting lapis because I don't think I have any right now. I don't know if I, I ended up like gathering stuff from the caves earlier. I know there's a ton down there. Like I walked by a lot of it and I was like, I won't need that. But I don't, I don't remember if I collected it. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nope. Uh-uh. Well, I guess it's... I, I think we need some some lapis. All right. What do you say we go for one last cave trip to get this lapis? And then we're pretty much done with all of that. Maybe along the way, if I see some cows, I'll collect some more leather. Because that's, that's another thing that we need to keep track of. But we're nearly done with the enchanting table itself. And I am very excited about that. It's looking really cute in that build, too. And down we go. Whoa! Swag. And I'm, like, so confident there was some lapis in here. There's gotta be. Pretty sure this is the cave where I was like, ha, huh, I'll never need that. Turns out I do. Turns out I do. There it is. Perfect. Ooh, this seems to be quite a bit too. So that'll get us 29. Awesome. I think that should be enough, especially for what we're doing today. We're only going to be enchanting like maybe one thing. So that'll give us more than enough. All right, let's get out of here. And we got to get home. It's nighttime now. Mobs are going to start coming out. Oh, I already hear one underneath me. Good thing this island is so close to us, though. 
Oh, that baby cow is fully grown now. <laughs> I feel bad. I can, I gotta leave him there at this point. All right, can I feed the cows at all though? We should probably do that. Cause we're gonna need some serious leather. Oh, there's two of you, what? Huh? Well, I'm gonna feed you, but also I do need leather. I take back everything I just said. I desperately need leather right now. All right, we should be good for now with those guys. So I guess maybe while we're waiting to get more leather, we can kind of start decorating the interior and a little bit of the exterior. So we've got all of this stuff in place right here. We have a lot of space for other things in here, which is really nice. I would love to have like a huge library wall. The only problem is, of course, the leather is kind of like our stopping point here from like getting us uh, some more decorations. So I think what we're going to have to do is kind of make do without that. I think for an enchanting area, though, we could still make it relatively cute with, let's say, if we can't do a library, we should do maybe like a little seated area. That would be really cute. We could do some chairs, maybe a little couch or something. And then like a table in between. So let's get started with that. Maybe we could do a little little reading nook or something right here. And then we could do barrels of some sort instead of books like we kind of wanted. Actually, let's go. Hmm. What if we did couch here, table here, and then little units behind right here? They're pretty much going to have to just be made out of like barrels and stuff, but I think it'll still look really cute. And down here, I feel like this is also a good like storage wardrobe unit space. Maybe with like armor stands or something. We could uh, do something like that. Now, if we want to make an armor stand, how do we do that again? I think it's like smooth, smooth stone. I don't think I even have the recipe yet. So what we need to do is cook up a little bit of, oops, a little bit of this. And we do have some barrels, so we could start making a unit. I think something like that would be nice. And then armor stands across, possibly, could be cool. What if we also... I don't know if I have any left. I was like, amethyst would look so cool in the ground, um, like on the floor, but I don't think I have any. You know what, though? Carpet would be equally nice. We could also take at least one of our corn flowers, dye a little bit of this blue. I was gonna use the lapis, but I was like, honestly, I feel like that's more important than the corn flower. So let's do this. A little bit of blue carpet, a little bit of white carpet. Something like that. Then across, we could just fill that in. We're going to have to fill in some spots across here, too, just because of the wardrobe. Oops. Or sorry, not the wardrobe, the unit that we're building. Maybe we do like dark oak on the bottom and barrels on top because I want them directionally like this way. And then it looks kind of goofy if you have one like another one underneath. So I think like, yeah, we'll put a different type of block underneath it though. Maybe we could do like some dark oak stairs possibly. I wonder how that would look. Mm. 
I'm gonna have to put like a banister here too because I keep walking up like not properly. Maybe something like this could be kind of cool. Just to give a little bit more shape. Yeah. I also wonder if the barrels look cool, but they are very, it's like a very heavy object in terms of visual weight. So I'm like, I wonder if dark oak fence would be kind of cool to have instead. Like, what if we did dark oak fence to kind of like break this off? Mm, looks a little. Now it looks less like a unit. Wait a second. I, I do have an idea, though. Something like this. And then we could do maybe something like that along there. Gonna have to get another barrel for this spot, but I feel like that could look kind of cool as like a post or something. I'm gonna need another uh, slab there. And then for this section, maybe I could just put like a planter or something to get some greenery in here. I think that's a really nice little like trim that we've got going on though. I like that. And we could also connect it to the banister if we need to. That's very, that's like a very tight fit. Maybe the banister should be trapdoors. I feel like that'd be a good solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trapdoors will give us just a little bit more breathing room. Trapdoors, and then we've got... I need to make another barrel or two. We still have our stone in the furnace. Oops. I feel like something here would be nice to kind of close off the banister. Yes. And then we could do even like a planter here, like a compost bin. That would be nice. Then along here. Hmm. Oops. I wonder if we should just like fill in part of this wall, you know? Because we don't really need anything here. I need those, uh, spruce. Not spruce, sorry, the slabs. Did I use them all? Maybe. Let's just make a couple more. I feel like we could make a nice decorational wall out of this one if we kind of like half cover it up. All right, hear me out. Hear me out. We do something like this. And then like that. Then we could put like paintings, maybe some lighting in there and stuff too. I think that could look really cute. I actually like that. That's nice. Okay, so that works. Uh, and as for this wall, I'm almost contemplating doing the same thing. Just to close it off. The only thing that we have to consider is now we just have, like, a wall here. Don't tell me that's a wandering trader. Oh my gosh. Sir, take the hint, bro. Maybe we, like, kind of close it off with a beam, though. You know? Something like that. Could be kind of cool. The beam should go all the way up, though. Yeah, that kind of closes it off a bit. Bro, this wandering trader. Take the hint, please. Doing my head in, honestly. I want to fully fill this part in, or at least like one. There we go. Like if a mob spawns in there, it'll be <laughs> somehow even more annoying than the wandering trader is. So 
just get it filled in. There we go. This has a little bit more structure to it. I think it looks cute. And honestly, the stone bits don't really bother me that much. We can also cover some of it up with carpet if we wish. So that's good. Now I'm forced to actually use the stairs how they should be. Another bonus. Sir, just go. Just go. And with that, we can make our armor stands. Probably like three. The problem is I don't really have anything to put on them, though. So maybe I should do one in the corner. I could do barrels going up like that. Something tells me I'm like, the barrels should go from the left. It looks better visually. And then the armor stand. And then we could do like a pot with a plant in there, a lantern, anything really. Uh, I need to sleep quickly. Sir. Please, please don't judge me for what I'm about to do. It is for the, it's for the best, trust me. Otherwise, we're gonna have this dude just like yelling in our ears. You're all probably just trying to chill, as I am. And this dude is just like, he's crashing the party, you know? Sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, we got leather out of it, that's good. That's actually good. Okay. Things are happening. I feel I feel less bad now. I don't have to feel as guilty. We also need like a little table here. What if we did this? That's kind of cute. Okay, okay. I like that. That's nice. We pretty much just need like lighting in here because it's very dingy right now. I feel like I can't see anything. I feel like IRL where now I have to admit to myself that now that I'm older, I need the kitchen light, the overhead kitchen light on to see properly. I refused that for so long. And now when I'm chopping vegetables, I like halfway through, I realize I'm like, this is very difficult. I can't see anything and it's like, oh yeah, because my eyesight is just getting a little bit worse. It's a hard thing to admit to yourself sometimes, but it's for the better. Let's get a little lantern there and we can put a pot underneath. And put a little lantern there. Maybe one here, maybe one here. Okay, this is this is coming together. Lots of lighting. Cool. I really like how this is shaping up actually. I'm just gonna do like a little decorational barrel there for like some under under the stairs storage, you know? A cubby, if you will. I do a trim all the way across too. This is getting a little bit messy actually if I do a trim. Oh no, my carpet! All the way across, though. I have to replace that. Uh oh. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I placed it wrong. Now I'm messing up my stairs. Just everything's going wrong. Uh, what happened here? What did I just do? What's going on here? Oh, I think I see. Nope, that's not right. Like that? What happened? What did I just do? Oh no. Classic. This this is why. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Gotta be more careful with this stuff. I think like 
No, 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 no. I don't know where that stair came from. I don't think it really matters, though. Because I think it was a slab. There we go. All is fine now. All right, we're going to have to make, like, a ton of chests. Because we got to store, like, our lapis. We got to use some for, like, decorations, you know? Maybe a little chest there. Actually, I think a flower would be nicer here. But we can do... a chest right here. Put the lapis in there. We could do... one... here. And where else would be nice? Maybe like a double chest here or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all coming together. Next, let's get our flower pots sorted. There's one. There's probably going to be one here. Not sure where yet. Can't have one here. But we can have two here. That would be lovely. We'll put Lily of the Valley in one. And then, you know what I just realized? That should probably just be beam all the way through. Uh, how am I going to do this? Probably need to... There we go. Boom. Perfect. This is looking real cute. Oops. I totally meant for that to happen. I didn't. Please help me. I'm so bad at placing blocks. I feel like a path right here would be nice. I'm gonna save this coarse dirt though. Just in case. Oops. Something like that. Super cute. Maybe we can get our little spruce stairs like that. Very nice. Got a nice little narrow path. Can probably path out other stuff later, but I think that's okay for now. And before I put the lily of the valley away, whoop, let's get some on the moss wherever I can really. Actually, there's not too many spots. That's pretty much it. I feel like I should do two and then like a tuft of grass or something. Literally just that. How's that looking? I feel like it's enough, honestly. Just a simple little, simple little design there. So I think all it's really missing though is maybe some of the birch leaves that we had. Like there's one here, but I think maybe we could do with a couple more. Do I have any left? Let's see. I do. I do indeed. I'm really feeling the birch leaves for this build today. I don't utilize them enough, even though they're actually like really, just like really pretty leaves. They're very like crunchy looking. Mm, probably put one right here too. That's looking good. I always like to try to like actually implement some of the leaves like physically into the build like by removing bricks. I think it kind of helps like make it look a little bit like older and more run down if that makes sense. Those aren't really connected. Something like that maybe. That's better. That looks really good. Just that little bit of texture, I think, kind of helped with the flatness of the roof. And I think we're pretty much good to go on that part. So I can probably tear down some of this now.
Perfect. I mean, eventually I would love to bone meal some of this. I don't know if we're going to get to that today because I don't know how much bone meal I have left. We do have like one bone. I'm going to keep it aside just in case. But we could always do just like little decorative things like barrels and some chests on the side as well. Don't want to overdo it. I actually really like it as it is. Um, maybe just a couple birch leaves on this side for now. I don't even think I really want like a lean to or anything, to be honest. Let's keep it nice and simple. Yeah. And then maybe some barrels in the corner right there and we're good to go. How are the cows doing? All right, we can feed them again. I think like after a couple more grow, we could probably get a little bit more leather and that might be enough for the enchanting table, to be honest. So I'm going to do a little bit more decorating on the interior. And then I think after that, what I might do is like off camera, just like clear up some of this stuff so we can get a better sense of what this area looks like. Uh, without the chest in the way. But I just want to do a couple more decorations before we do that. And then we'll focus on getting the rest of the enchanting table up. And that's pretty much it. Should probably get a couple item frames too, even though they're a little bit expensive for us right now. I think it would be worth having like, I don't know, a cute little diamond or something just within the build somewhere. Ooh, I like that. That's moody. Nice. Okay. Got that. We've got... What can we do with this one? Ow. That's weird. I like it. I like it. Okay. Did we already use that one? No, it's not a repeat. And what about here? Ooh, that's moody. That is moody indeed. I like that. Perfect. Oh, before we finish up the decorations, though, I want a couple of, uh, like, plant pots as well. Probably just stick with birch, honestly. I don't have any azalea leaves, which kind of stinks because they're really great for, like, planters and stuff, but I think we'll make do with this. So one here, and then let's get that. Then do we need any more anywhere else? I'm not sure. This is looking really cute so far, though. I really like this enchanting room. Very nice. Um, hmm. Maybe here instead of like, oh, wait, no, never mind. I was going to say maybe there, but then it'll cover up the window. Don't really want that. But I feel like this is just like such a big wall. I might consider doing something different there. Hold on a second. Uh, do like a little whoops. Did not mean for that little table or something. Oh wait, no, that is way too... That's too clunky. What if we do like a little table here? Just a little chest right there. Flower pot on top. I think that's nice and simple. I don't think we really need a planter anywhere else then. That should be fine. It's okay having like a little bit of open space and stuff. Alright, so I think... For the most part here, let's let's look at this. I mean, of course, we need to replant trees and stuff afterwards. But this is looking really cute. Very nice. Got it on the other side. Let's like move up a little bit, see what it looks like. Yeah. This is substantially bigger than uh, some of the other builds that we have done so far, which is great because that's kind of what we need on this island. We need a couple bigger builds. Because we were, we were focusing all the on the little small guys. So now we've got like a nice nice mix of stuff. 
And this is looking really nice so far. I actually really love this. This is a very cozy space. I think the layout's perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start like kind of cleaning some of this up and moving it over so we can, one, let these guys do their thing so we can get more leather. And then two, we can um, have some space to start terraforming a little bit before we're done. And that's pretty much it. So I cleaned up all of the chests. Um, don't. Don't ask where I put all of this stuff because there is minimal storage on this island. It's a little bit of a problem. In the last long play that we did, um, I actually did make really good storage, I would say, for what we needed. I think I should probably find some type of solution here, though, because it is, is not good. So now that everything's cleaned up, though, I'm also going to get rid of this sugar cane just because it's kind of in the way right now. Now, I would like to plant some to keep, like, a little bit growing. And also, I just like the look of sugarcane on the island as well. However, I just don't want this much. And if you heard something in the background, that is my cat. She's jumping around on some boxes right now, so... <laughs> I'm sorry if you heard that. Alright. Well, I guess now, because this video is going to be, like, published a little bit later, I can, uh, spill the beans. A little bit so basically um i'm just i'm gonna be moving i'm gonna be moving irl very soon very excited about it uh we're leaving the city so that's gonna be like a huge huge change uh lived in the city for probably five six years i don't even remember time just flies really fast but basically um we want to be like a little bit closer to family we just want like a little bit more space all of that stuff so we made the decision to move. Uh, we actually made that decision. Well, we've been wanting to for a while, but uh, we kind of just started casually looking at places and found a really nice place that we really liked. So we put in an application for the lease and it happened. So I'm very excited. Uh, things are gonna be super busy coming up, but that's okay. We've already started packing and uh, we've gotten a head start on that. The videos might, end up being like a little bit weird. Our schedule might be a little bit wonky for streams and stuff, just probably for like a week or so. I'm gonna try my best to maintain like a good schedule as best as I can. But you know, with moving, there's always like a ton of stuff that comes up. Gotta set up the internet and all that stuff. So hopefully, hopefully it all goes smooth and uh, we won't really have to worry about that. So before we also um, get started on kind of like fixing up this area, I'm just replacing some of this with dirt uh, just because I would like to plant a bunch of trees behind the house. And of course, we can't plant that on stone. So I'm just going to replace a little bit of this with dirt so we can uh, go ahead and do that. Let me go get a little bit more, though. Where do I have dirt? Any in here? No, no. Ah, got some dirt there. I'm actually just gonna get rid of this layer too, just to give ourselves a little bit more breathing room. Means we have to get rid of this stuff as well. All right, I think that's looking good for uh, however much space we need to plant some trees. If we just do them along the line of dirt around here, that should be more than enough space. Let me just free cam really quickly. Yeah, I think that's looking so much better. Okay, all we need to do now are saplings. We just need to plant some of those and we're pretty much good to go. So, I'm thinking in terms of saplings, what do we got? We got spruce, that would be nice. Spruce trees are always a classic. I'm thinking maybe like a couple oak and a couple birch if we have them as well. We do have some birch and oak. We got three, nice. 
All right, wait, do I have any bone meal? Not in here. I thought we did have some somewhere so I could bone meal the grass a little bit more. But if not, that is a-okay. I can honestly shear some more grass and probably make do with that. Some lily of the valley would also be really nice around it as well. We've got some, some sheared grass already. All right, that should be good. So I'm just going to plant some trees kind of to frame up the build a little bit. And I think I might do like a couple of little custom trees here and there as well. Just really small ones, though. I'm not too great at building custom trees. Um, that is something I would love to learn. But that is that is not in my wheelhouse, <laughs> like building really nice ones. I've tried a bunch of times and it always for some reason just absolutely fails. I think it's just like the leaf placement that really, really messes me up because I always try to, people always suggest to like leave air and space between the leaves. And for some reason I try that and I'm like, it doesn't look right. And then I just end up adding tons of leaves and that doesn't look good either. So definitely that's something I need to work on in the future. All right, we're going to let those guys grow. And then I just want to get, there's got to be bone meal somewhere. I swear I had some or like skelly bones i'm pretty sure i had a couple from the caves i just don't know where i put them hello no except i'm gonna use some of these for our trees maybe some birch and spruce yeah i'm not sure maybe i used it earlier i just don't realize it that's okay. So I'm just going to do a couple of very simple trees. Literally, all I really do for these is like spruce fence, tree, or leaves and leaves. So we can pretty much sprinkle a couple of these throughout. Um, Sometimes I do like little variations, if anything, where it's like spruce, spruce fence, leaves, spruce fence, leaves. Something super simple. Honestly, maybe another leaf on top if we can. Uh, let's see if I can get up there. There we go. These will probably blend in uh, into the scenery nicely as well. Actually, let me do this. Oh, oh, you know what? That would look nice too. Having some sprinkled like on the sides of it as well. Do that. Okay, okay, we're getting there. That's looking cute. And then throughout we could put a couple of tufts of grass since I don't have bone meal. We could do some Lily of the Valley as well. One of my favorite flowers. Oh, a birch tree grew in. Which is kind of like peeling into the custom tree that I made. Maybe I can like shave this a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't look too awkward. Oh, got rid of a bit much, but I think that should be okay. Oh. I think that looks a little awkward now. Uh, if I get rid of some of these leaves to make it just look a little, a little less full, that could actually work in our benefit. Let's see. We'll just try something like that. Let me sleep first, though. I mean, it looks a little patchy, but is that a bad thing? I don't know. It's custom, you know? Hey, what are you... What are you trying to do getting up here? This is my spot. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? <gasps> I need more food soon, too. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think if I just, like, this can be fixed, you know? This can absolutely be fixed. There we go. It's custom! You know? It's just a custom little tree, that's all. It's just trying its best.
All right. So, I mean, like, that's pretty much just like. That's the beginnings of filling the space out. We have to wait for some of these trees to grow in. This one did. And once they frame this area up a little bit more, I think it's going to look really good. So maybe while we're waiting for that, maybe it's time to finally enchant one of our tools in our new enchanting house. So uh, let's grab... Do I have everything I need? Yep, I've got my diamond pickaxe. And I think my lapis is upstairs. Yep, there we go. And how about we see what we get with this? So let's pop the lapis. Wait a second. <laughs> I completely forgot. We can't do that yet because we're only at level 14. We need to make a couple more bookshelves. But I think we should be able to with all of the stuff that we've gathered. Uh, let me go get the sugar cane really quickly as well as some more leather. A little bit more leather here. I kind of forgot what we were doing. Mm. Leather. Oh, some lapis. Why not? Why not? And sugar cane. Paper. And we need wood. Crafting table? Ah, here. All right, paper. Let's make that first. Book. Let's make seven. Bookshelf. We can make another two. Thought I had... I have one more book here. That doesn't get me much, though. I need one more. We could, um... We could get some cows, though. I'm gonna place down these two bookshelves, though. I think we're nearly there. Let's plop these down here. We are at 18. We need to get to level 30. Oops! I didn't mean to do that. Oh no! Oh no! Well, I mean, they have nowhere to go, so I'm sorry. Dude, you don't want to go out here. You don't want to go out here. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. You don't want to. I'm so sorry. Six leather. That's actually not bad at all. Nine. This might get us our last couple shelves that we need. Let's go. Twelve. That's pretty good, actually. Let's make some more books. Twelve books. Two shelves. It's gotta be... We should be able to make more than that, right? There we go. Four. That should be enough. That's gotta be. I think we did it. I have a feeling we did it. Okay. Okay. So, let's place down, I guess, one here, right? How high does it have to be? Do I have to move this lantern? I always forget. Or can I stack it three high? Like that. We're at 20. How many bookshelves do you need for an enchanting table? We're so close to being there. We are so close. Okay, I think it's like one more that we need. Pretty sure. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Might be like 16 or something. I don't know. So weird. All right. Well, we just have a couple more cows to get for some leather. Let me feed them first so we don't completely thin the herd too much. Let me go around the other side, actually. There we go, that's easier. I have a feeling we might be able to get this. Please drop leather. Please, I beg. Nothing! Come on. Come on. Okay, there's one. 
Some more. Nope. Any more? Come on. Five? Another five? Nope, not another five. Sorry, we're still at five. This is bad. Okay, six. Please. Two more. Is this gonna be it? I never remember. Never remember. All right, please. Come on. Just three high work. I don't even remember, to be honest. 22. That ain't right. That ain't right. Hmm. I'm wondering if I can place one, like, here and maybe... I'm gonna have to break that, grab the books. Cause I almost wonder if it's like too high or like far away or something. Let me recraft that shelf. Let's see. Like that. And also do they come out over to there too. I don't even, I don't remember at this point. 24. We're so close. I'm wondering if it has to go out here as well. Maybe. I could bring it out over here if we need to. Because I feel like I have more than enough bookshelves if I'm honest. Let's see, does that change it at all? Okay, that keeps it at 24, which means these guys are too high, I think. If anything, I might have to bring them out here, which is not ideal, but that's okay. I'm gonna try doing that. It's been so long since I've made a, uh, a proper enchanting table. It's just something that you just don't make like in later game. And the last one I did, I think was for our fall long play, which was a couple months ago. Easy to forget some of these setups. Okay. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna put two here. Twenty-eight. Thirty. Please. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight still? Ah! I think we're close though. I think we just need one more. I think that's it. It's going to make this a little bit of a tight squeeze, but honestly, it doesn't matter as long as we can walk around it. We literally just need one more book. I have like one cow left, though, until these dudes grow. <sighs> Come on. Oh, I think it worked. OK, I think it worked. Oh, my. Oh, my. Please tell me this is the one. Please tell me this is the one. on 30 yes okay so it looks a little goofy now because i had to extend it over here but that's okay honestly it works so i'm happy so uh what do you say we we enchant our very first tool shall we do it shall we do it all right obviously it's gonna be the diamond pickaxe right away i can see we have unbreaking three which is awesome let's see if we get anything else silk touch oh <gasps> That's actually like pretty awesome because there's so much stone that I wanted to like pretty much tear up and use for like stone brick and stuff. So now I can just tear into it, gather up that stone. I don't have to smelt it anymore. I am quite happy with that. We don't have any efficiency on it, but you know what? The silk touch is gonna make my life so much easier on this island. Nice, I'm very happy about that actually. That was a good one. So we've got our very first tool enchanted. I mean, we're at 29 levels. We could possibly do another one if we if we want. Um, let me just move this quickly. Hold on a second. I made these a little too close to each other, but I think that's OK. Move that there. I'm wondering if we just do one more because one, I think we're pretty much done with 
this area. I'm really happy with how it looks. I need to get maybe a little bit more grass for this spot. But other than that, I like um, I like all of the trees and stuff that are surrounding it. I think it, it's pretty much complete. So I need a little bit more grass. And I just need like just a couple, couple little levels. Look how close I am on the XP bar. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So maybe what we do is uh, we go. Oh, there's no bed in here. We go just like hit a zombie or a cow or something. Grab a little bit more grass, and then we are good to go. Oh! I didn't even have to do that. Look at that. We leveled up by grabbing steak. Isn't that the best? What a way to level up. Tell you what. Alright, awesome. So, uh, I still think maybe I should go grab a little bit of grass, though. That'll take, like, only a couple moments. Where did I put my shears? There they are. And then we'll enchant one more tool. I think we have some diamonds that we can make like an axe out of or something. And then we're pretty much done. Look at that. Sorry if my voice is cracking a bit. I don't know. My voice is very uh, tired today, I guess. This is looking so cute, though. Look at the little like lighthouse in the distance and stuff, too. I love this. Sorry, I'm just going to take a quick little look at our island so far. I think that was like a really nice addition to the island. Super happy about that. Oh my gosh, there's a drowned. I need to get far away from this. So let's grab our little last little pieces of stuff. Maybe we could grab some ferns too, actually. That would look really nice. And then we're pretty much like done for this build. I would say. Again, while we're wrapping things up, I just want to say another big thank you again to everybody who watches this series. Um, I've been really having a lot of fun making all these long plays, and I'm so glad you all enjoy them. You're vibing with them. Super, super fun. I, I When I first started making the commentary long plays, I was scared that nobody would watch them because of the commentary, but you all seem to really like them. And honestly, I have so much fun. So thank you again so much. I really appreciate it. All right, we got how many blades of grass? 13. That's really not a lot, is it? Just a couple more will do, I think. All right, I think that should be okay. Let's grab some on the way back. And let's head back and put the final touches on this build. This island is uh, rapidly changing, and I love it. Where did I put my boat, though? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Look at all the chimney smoke. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to extinguish a couple of those. Definitely will. Because that is up in flames right now. Let me tell you what. Oh, this is looking so cute. I also love kind of approaching the island from this little spot. We definitely need to build a dock or something here at some point. I really love that there's just like little different access points. It it just feels so cozy. Sorry, I'm going to free cam one more time just to see what we got. Look at that. New build put up. It's looking great. Let's do like a little overhead view. Nice. Look at that, eh? Look at that. It's really coming together. This is the spot that probably needs the most love next. Um, Got to figure out what we're going to build there, but I do have some ideas. Don't want to spoil too much, but I think I have a couple of, a couple of uh, good ideas. Let's place some ferns all around. It's a nice touch as well. And let's do our blades of grass too.
Oops, I think I'm replacing some of the ferns with the grass by accident. Kind of messing up the placement here. That's okay, though. Alright, I think that's enough. I don't want to go too overboard. Just enough that it looks a little bit more rough in this area. Something like that. And I think that's pretty much it. I think we're, like, done with this build, honestly. I was going to add barrels and stuff to the outside, but I honestly don't even think it needs it. Sometimes it's like I'm still trying to uh, go with the idea of less is more. And not every build needs that. Like, we've got it on there. We've got a lean-to on that one as well. This one doesn't have it, but it has the cows, which we only have, oh my gosh, like three baby cows left. That is just awful. Um, so I don't think it really needs it. So let's do a quick little walkthrough. So we've got our little front entryway. We've got this little little area with some storage. We've got a cute little uh, area right here. And upstairs, we've got our enchanting setup. A little little place to like hang out. You know, read a book or something, have some have some breakfast or something, even though there's no kitchen in here, that's fine. Could like bring a breakfast burrito up here. The best thing about those is that they are compact and mobile. You can you can use a breakfast burrito, you could eat one wherever you want. I honestly don't even really eat breakfast burritos in my everyday life. I don't know why I'm saying this, so I do like them though. I just never never make them. Alright, so it's probably easier to free cam. See how this looks. Yes. That is adorable. Where's the sun? Oh, the sun's over there right now. I see. Yeah, that's looking super cute. I'm really happy with it. As like a whole, like on the island, I really love just like the different sight lines we have. I mean, obviously the chimneys are a bit of an issue. We're going to have to extinguish a couple of those. But I just love being able to see some of the little builds like cascading behind it. One poking through over here. It's just starting to, like, really take shape now. I think it looks awesome. We're filling- we're slowly filling in- filling in the gaps, and I think it's looking super cute. I think another thing, like I said, that, um, this area would benefit from are a couple more docks and maybe even, like, little boardwalk areas that are fenced off or something. I think that would look super cool. So that's something to keep in mind maybe for, like, our next build. Or something. How's it looking? Whoa, look at that. Look at all the builds we got. Super cool. All right, well, actually, since we're done today, I mean, we got our pickaxe. We got this. We got Silk Touch and Unbreaking on it. I was going to enchant another one. We are at 30 levels, but how about we save it for the next episode? So we have like a nice little treat and a nice little start to our uh our next episode whatever we're doing probably going to be the axe but how about we wait as a little surprise to see what we get so i think with that that's probably it for today's build thank you so much again everybody for watching and hanging out with me while we built this i had tons of fun today and of course with that i will see you all in the next one on this this little island all right everybody take care bye Bye.